With no end in sight, many are struggling to just keep cool. Here, Rogers, meteorologist Mike Seidel is live there in San Antonio this morning. Mike, uh, it's early in the morning, but still pretty warm and only going to get hotter. Yes, but we do have a bit of a breeze after the storms that wrapped up early this morning and our temperature went down to 75, which is almost bearable. Right now it's pretty comfortable, but remember the rules, loose fitting, light color clothing, have plenty of water. That's the way to go about it. I got in yesterday, walked out of the airport. It was like a furnace, 105 heat index 115 and ended up down at the Riverwalk to get some dinner. And uh, here's some of the video I shot down on the Riverwalk. Now, this is about the time the uh, gust front blew through the temperature the temperature went from 98 uh, down to 71 in 40 minutes. So it dropped very, very, or to 81 in 40 minutes. So it was a quick drop. And then it seemed like people just came out of the woodwork because it was so much cooler. And it really didn't rain a whole lot here in downtown of San Antonio. But the locals, they've been dealing with the heat the past several days, 105, three days in a row. Two of those were record highs. And we talked to them how they are dealing with this and how they're gonna beat the heat because it's gonna continue for now. I'm in the shade, and I'm going to stay in the shade until I make my uh, next move. Drink water, drink Gatorade, take your break. Learn to accept it. You know, don't have a choice. And today in San Antonio, we may not hit 100 degrees, but it's going to be close 99 so we cool off a little bit by about five or six degrees the heat index though will get you as you get from here to the coast down towards corpus you have more humidity from the gulf of mexico and higher indices although the temperatures are not quite as warm it's not going to hit 100 in corpus dr postel but they've had heat indices there as high as 128 so we're fortunate that it's a little bit drier back inland and not as humid but still 115 is 115 yesterday boy it was hot yeah it's wicked hot mike stay safe and everybody should as well now let's take a quick peek at the tropics now mark mike seidel is live in san antonio with a closer look at just how hot it has been and mike you know we got some storms that rolled on through and it brought some relief brief but at least some relief Yes, and it also knocked out power. There's still thousands without power around Houston, and their heat index again today is going to be up around 110 degrees. Yesterday, get this, Del Rio, Texas, set their all-time high of 115 degrees. When was it set before? The day before, it was 113. So amazing heat down along the Mexican-Texas uh, border. Back here in San Antonio, not bad right now. It's only in the upper 70s. The heat index is about the same, but it's going to get up close to 100 today, not as hot as the last three days. Of course, it's not only us, the humans you have to worry about, it's the other animals out there like your pets. Make sure that you don't leave your child in a car or a pet for that matter. In this type of weather, they won't have long. Even those that say born and raised in Texas, been there, done that, this, this is really, really hot. And it will catch us if we're not careful. And if you look back at the climatology since uh, the 1800s here in San Antonio, if you look at all those years, they average about 10 100 degree days. But the past 30 year, the 30 year average is up to 18. So almost twice the number of triple digit days in the past 30 years versus the climate, the historical uh, record. As far as today goes, near 100 as we get into the weekend and next week, again, back close to 105 degrees here in San Antonio at the Alamo. And with no end in sight, yeah, many are, you know, struggling to just keep cool. It's a tough time to do so. And we bring in our meteorologist, Mike Seidel, who is live in San Antonio this morning. And, Mike, it's got to be a really, really hard for the folks knowing that we've been dealing with this heat for so long. It's still hot. And looking ahead for some reprieve, at least a longer-term reprieve outside of some thunderstorms, we don't see too much of that happening. No, we've got this big heat ridge sitting over the southern plains and uh, down to uh, the Rio Grande, and it's really not going anywhere. Now, today, we may only get to 100 versus 105 the past several days. And behind me, you can see uh, they've just opened up the Alamo at the top of the hour. So tourists out here uh, looking at one of the most iconic sites 
in the country. You know, you think of the Grand Canyon and Niagara Falls, you got to throw the Alamo in there. Let's talk heat and let's bring in Woody Woodward. He's uh, from ED Operations with the San Antonio Fire Department. And uh, not bad this morning. Yeah. I mean, there was actually a breeze earlier that's gone away. But uh, what I want to throw at you is a stat from the Texas Department of Health day before yesterday, just over a thousand emergency room ver visits versus 100,000 residents. And that's the highest number they've seen. Wow. And that's quadrupled in the past couple of weeks. What have you seen here in the city of San Antonio? So surprisingly for us, we haven't seen numbers go up all that much. Uh, about the past 10 days, our EMS has responded to about 150 heat-related calls. But having said that, uh, the calls don't always come in as heat-related. So let's say that uh, you get heat exhaustion, you pass out, you could hit your head, and that's going to come in as a medical call, or you could have a cardiac event. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as just uh, straight-up heat-related uh, calls, we're, we're about the same as, as we normally are in the summer. And you look back to last year, which was the hottest summer on record yeah. here uh, in San Antonio, 58 days hitting a 100 or better. So it's it's a tough year to compete with, but so far not as hot, but the past week or so, and it looks like it's not going to end for a while. Yeah, it's really hard on our crews. Um, they, they can't stay uh, in their bunker gear responding to a fire for more than like 10 minutes in, in, in that situation. So we have to really double up on our crews and get them rotated in and out as quickly as possible. And then for the general public, um, you know, we see all these good tourists um, um, heading out. I don't see a lot of people People carrying water bottles. Yes. Uh, I see one lady there, but right. uh, the rest of her uh, her crew should should definitely have uh, some liquids, and you should be sipping on those constantly. Don't wait until you feel like, oh wow, I'm super thirsty, because then it's probably too late. That's your body telling you, hello. I need to be hydrated. And I can tell you personally, I got dehydrated in the winter, mm. this past winter, and it's it's not good. Yeah. It can lead to other issues. Sure. So I've got plenty of water. I'm down about a fourth of a bottle in about an hour. So yeah. I'm drinking <laughs> as much as I can. Yeah. Any, anything else you want to point out? Yeah. We have the normal light, loose fitting, light colored sure. clothing, take breaks. If you're working outdoors, take water breaks. Yeah, you should 10, 15 minutes in the sun, you should get out um, and get in some shade and hydrate. But just listen to your body. You know your body. So, again, if you already feel thirsty, it's probably too late. If you're feeling lightheaded or dizzy, you definitely want to get out of the sun, cool rags, cool towels, um, hydrate. But if you or someone you're with is feeling nauseous, call 911. Okay. What do you thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. I hate to say it, but stay cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. yeah. It's only it's only late June. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dr. Postel, good uh, input there from Woody. This is what you need. Stay hydrated. Trust me. Uh, that's the one thing you need to do, and get out of the sun as much as you can. <laughs> right. You. And the important point is, don't wait until you're thirsty. Drink well before that happens. Mike, thank you very much. Our Mike Seidel is live in San Antonio with a closer look at just how hot it has been. And Mike, it has been really brutal, brutal heat. Something that's been around and has staying power. That's part of the issue, right? We don't get breaks. Exactly. We've got this big high in the upper levels of the atmosphere, and it's just going to sit here. We're going to get a bit of a break today, Alex. It may not get to 100. The past three days, we've hit 105, and two of those days were record highs. So it has been hot, and it's been humid, humid enough to send the heat index yesterday to 115. I walked out of the airport, and it was like walking into a, a furnace. Let me take you uh, back to last night. Walked down to the Riverwalk, one of the pristine places to be. Great place to walk and have uh, dinner and drinks. And amazingly, after the uh, gust front blew through and the temperature went from 98 down to 81, 17 degrees in 40 minutes, seemed like people came out of the woodwork. Actually, it was kind of comfortable at that point. Then we had some rain overnight, and we started off this morning at 75. But those temperatures today, again, heading up into the upper 90s, it will crack 100, way over 100 again in San Angelo, Laredo, Del Rio yesterday. They're all time high. Broken again from the day before. They went up to 115. Then you get down to the Gulf Coast. It doesn't hit 100 like in Corpus, but with all that humidity, the heat index there has hit as high as 128. And like Alex said, I just mentioned, it's not going anywhere. No real relief. So drink the water, stay hydrated, uh, take breaks if you're working outside, find shade. We're under a tent, but we also have some of these great live oak trees down here to keep us cooler than it would be out in the sun. We'll keep you updated from Texas. It's not going away. We'll come back more and look into the severe threat later today.
with no end in sight, many are struggling to keep cool. Our very own meteorologist Mike Sadell is live there in San Antonio this morning. And, and Mike, it's not just the fact that it's, it's hot, it is, but it's the humidity that really just takes it to another level. In most of Texas, yes, and especially now the coast uh, towards Corpus Christi, Houston, those heat indices over the past several days in Corpus topping out at 128 degrees. Let's bring in Lieutenant Lee Wedlake with the Alamo Rangers. And let's talk first about the heat. Well, today, so far, not bad. We've got a cloud deck. We've had a breeze. It's only 86 degrees. Only. And the humidity is down, so the heat index right now is only 87. But even though it's not going to be quite as hot today, it's going to get real hot again early next week. Absolutely. Thank and wh what do you look for out here with all the tourists in the heat? All the tra uh, staff here is trained in uh, first aid, so they've been trained in the signs to look for. So we're watching for people that uh, maybe look a little bit woozy or color starting to change, excessive sweating if they're bordering on heat exhaustion. We've got cooling kits throughout the, uh, the complex and rooms that we can take them to to cool them off. And some of the basic safety tips out here, because you look around and you see very few people carrying water. That seems to be an issue because people come down here from up north and they're not used to South Texas heat. And uh, with the high heat index, like you said, so they don't drink, they don't eat. And then when they get down here and they've been walking in the heat for a while, then they start to feel pretty bad. So we'd like them to uh, hydrate, uh, try to stay away from the caffeinated stuff so much. The, uh, they should be wearing the appropriate clothing, planning their visit for the proper part of the day when it's the least amount of heat which I know sometimes especially is difficult, especially. They should wear sunscreen, a hat, sunglasses, and so okay. on. Well, thanks for joining us, Lieutenant. I appreciate it. I've got it. my hat. You're good. I've got my sunscreen on. <laughs> I've got my water, and I've got my loose-fitting, lightweight clothing. You're good to go. All I need is a giant air-cooled fan. <laughs> <laughs> need to put a big dome over there. Yeah, big dome over the Alamo. Okay, thanks for joining us <laughs> Thank here you. at the Alamo. Appreciate as it. I said, it won't be quite as hot today. Temperatures will approach 100 degrees. But Dr. Postel, the average high is 93, and it's not going to be that cool anytime soon. We've got the big ridge right over south central part of the country, and that's going to keep it hot and mostly dry. Although right now, Austin is only uh, 79 degrees because they've had some rain and thunderstorms around. So a little bit of a break up there, but uh, it's not permanent by any means. Uh, no, that break is going to be short-lived. You're right about that, Mike. And there's two points that I think you raised. It's interesting. One, seven degrees. You might think it's only seven degrees above average. That's not much, right? But it's a lot when you talk mm. about the summertime variability, which is actually not that high. So once you jump to seven degrees above right. average, that's off the charts. And the other point that you mentioned was um, the duration. You're right about that. There's no end in sight, really, for in the bigger picture for this heat wave in Texas and in nearby areas of Mexico. No, it's locked right in there. That big ridge uh, is sitting there, and there's not going to be much change. We do get some thunderstorms underneath the big dome. But other than that, uh, and the other thing is, uh, versus last year, which was the hottest summer on record, uh, they've had more rain going into this here in this part of Texas. So there's a little bit more humidity. Dew points are a little bit higher. And yesterday, that pushed the heat index here to 115. I mm. got out of the airport, and it just, boom, like you were putting your head in, a, in an oven. Yeah, indeed. Well, stay cool, Mike. Thank you very much. Our very own meteorologist Mike Seidel is live in San Antonio with a closer look at just how hot it has been. And, and Mike, these temperatures, they've been soaring for the last several days, will continue. And I'm, I'm sure folks there are saying, uh-oh, it's going to be one of those summers. Yeah, especially after last summer, it was their hottest on record in San Antonio. Their June and July were the hottest June and July's on record. So, and they've had 58, 58 100 degree days last year, one off the record set back in 09. So they had enough last summer. This summer, though, is uh, got off to a cooler start. Now we're into the trenches of this big heat dome. Uh, right now, though, it's only 86, and the heat index is only 87. The air is a little drier today. We don't think we're going to get much above 100. Yesterday and the two preceding days, a couple record highs, we hit 105 degrees, and the heat index was up to 115. I walked out of the airport yesterday, and it was like an inferno. It was like a like a just like putting your head in the oven when it's already been preheated. Let me take you back to the Riverwalk, one of the
iconic places to go to hang out and eat and drink uh, here in San Antonio. And it's down below, so you kind of miss some of the weather above when the wind's blowing. But, boy, that gust front blew through here. And in just 40 minutes, the temperature went from 98 down to 81, 17 degrees. And then it seemed like people just came out because they realized it was had cooled down from that scorching, intense heat earlier in the day. Now it's going to stay hot here uh, as we get through the next 7 to 10 days. It's going to get hotter back to the 104, 105 we've seen uh, in uh, recent days. But today, maybe not quite to 100. We've got a nice cloud deck right now, which is keeping down the sunshine and holding down the temperatures. We'll be here through today and tomorrow. We'll keep you updated. More on the severe threat today next.